Hey everyone. All right guys. So I just wanted to apologize. I was unable to get to that weekend spread. Um, we had some pretty big things happening at our home this weekend. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't even know what to say about it, to be honest with you, other than the fact that I am going to throw out a general spread, but this is, you know, obviously no sign attached. So let's see what we got coming up for you guys today and feel free to swap rolls, but I do have a two of wands. It is in the reverse. So, um, I kind of feel like somebody could be going back and forth a little bit, trying to make a decision, um, stay go. I mean, it could be a lot of things, you know, not, you know, making a choice could also be part of that because staying put is always a decision, you know, sometimes too, but if there's an unrequited offer, you know, I just feel that there is something to be said about clarifying or, you know, getting clarity on something because there can be a lot of misunderstandings that oftentimes can lead to hostilities even. But I think that the new energy is there for something new, for some physical start. But yet the influencing factor is that, you know, there has to be a conversation over some, you know, maybe a double-edged sword that's here. But I definitely feel whatever the passion or the desire towards anything, there's a secret or somebody's keeping something really private. You know, sometimes we need to do that in life. And sometimes it's where even someone else might, you know, be kind of keeping a lot of things private. But, you know, there's still something yet to be, I guess, revealed in some ways. But the Three of Cups has a lot to do with friends and family and support of people and celebrations, events. Now, this is past up till now. Maybe it's, again, keeping someone private. You know, there could be something here, you know, when I think of, like, letting your friends help. In some cases, you know, if they're being helpful. But there is something that feels like a burden. And it could be even keeping a secret is becoming, you know, hard to do. I just feel like even responsibilities and obligations, you know, it's like getting to this point where, you know, you can put the burden down if it's no longer yours to carry. But I do feel like somebody is trying to juggle a little bit too much. You know, this could just be work life. It could be responsibilities and obligations. And there's some imbalance going on, you know, the exchange of anything. And when I look at the strength and the challenge, you know, obviously, you know, it's kind of like what we get tested for. And so there's courage, you know, obviously, and there's compassion that go into strength. But sometimes, you know, the challenge would be to tame the beast. And so it's not coming across in this ferocious or, you know, type of like, I don't know, because I kind of feel like it has a tendency, you know, to be about self-preservation a lot of times. But, you know, strength, determination, courage, bravery, you know, in the face of, you know, greater forces in some cases. But I do see you manifesting something. And so, again, keeping your good news private even. And if it's like you've had an idea and you kind of put all your energy towards that idea and you invest your time, your energy, your money, whatever it is to nurture what it is that you want to see coming to fruition. I do see that there is an investment being made and it could be in a person even. Or it could be how you're able to take actions. And again, some physical start of something toward the desire of your heart. What I find interesting is that this King of Wands does show or depict a lion. We have strength over here, obviously, the lion, the infinity sign. So that might have something to do with um, even a sign. You know, we could be looking at Leo. Um, but, you know, in reality, any sign, because Leo has a lot to do with that fifth house, and entertainment, you know, fun. And, you know, sometimes it's really about the spotlight or even children, the inner child. I just get the impression that, you know, that fifth house has a lot to do with pride and a job well done. And so if there is, you know, you kind of, you know, moving forward in this space, you know, it's like the magician. You're creating something in some cases. And sometimes you got to keep the good news private as much as any other news. Or maybe someone else has got something that will be helpful to you. But I definitely think that there are things yet to be revealed, whether by you or by someone else. But I do feel like things aren't always what they appear to be. And that magician can, you know, depict that. I just feel like the Nine of Wands is the expectation of difficulties and changes because there's someone who's got their walls up and it's a barrier. And maybe, again, it's, you know, for good reason. But in other cases, you know, it's like awaiting something, you know. So, you know, obviously, if there's you know, discipline that's needed, you know, there could be a pause and some current struggle even, but I just feel like, you know, even sometimes there could be hidden enemies is what this might represent. So somebody's got their guard up and, you know, you kind of think about like, you know, suspicions or anything like that. You know, it's like your intuition is going to, you know, tell you about maybe someone or a group, 
but I definitely think if there is any threat to safety, it's not necessarily even a real threat. It could be a perceived threat, but the Knight of Pentacles might be, again, thinking about your time, your money, your energy. You know, it's like maybe someone's worried about the economy or worried about the exchange of something. You know, obviously, it's kind of like um, there could be, you know, it's suggesting perhaps possible loss of a valued friendship or a treasured possession. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but I kind of feel like somebody's really, you know, kind of got their guard up and there's these suspicions that surround a situation or a person even, but, you know, whom is either the King of Wands, the King of Cups, or any other people that might be coming into this, you know, picture here, because it's going to describe someone, you know, that obviously responsibility and creativity, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. There's that kind of very emotional and, you know, there's a learned person here and somebody who's very intuitive even, you know, consider it. And there's generosity that goes into that. So it's a very supporting person. It's go with the flow, easy to get along with, but it could be you or someone to you. I just feel like, you know, if there's any, I don't know, opportunity that felt like a lack of, or if there was timing that had to do with some situation or some unsatisfactory experience, like a business experience or a letdown, you know, because of disappointment, you know, the timing of anything, you know, obviously what's not in alignment versus what is, you know, obviously, and it's about having hope and instilling that hope in some, you know, maybe scenario where it's like these feelings or even excessive pressures. And so if anybody's feeling overwhelmed, you know, about anything, you know, obviously there are problems that are soon to be resolved in the effort that's going to meet a goal. Possibly there could be someone using their own power for some selfish ends. So you want to be careful that there's not manipulation or trickery or a sleight of hand, but you do have a knight of wands. And so again, it kind of, you know, I'm looking at this coming through with the ace of wands, the king of wands, the knight of wands, there's all this fire, there's all this passion. And so it's kind of like there's this departure, you know, somebody come and going, you know, obviously a journey of sorts could be, you know, the journey of life or maybe someone's going somewhere, but there could be advancement into the unknown, you know, taking a chance, you know, there's confidence here and obviously some alteration, you know, and this could be someone even obviously getting on a plane, going on vacation or moving, you know, obviously there could have been even some absence, you know, and that could be, again, maybe you're choosing to go in a different direction or someone else has, but, you know, it's kind of like change of residence could become a thing, but this does suggest somebody that the traveler, for example, you know, you cross paths with someone, you know, they're you got that dark, you know, it's suggesting a dark young man. So dark features, dark hair, dark skin, you know, could be a thing. But I do think if there is any disharmony in any of this, you know, obviously, if there's more people involved than should be, or, you know, triggers, you know, obviously, it's like the conflict, you know, obviously, something needs to be clarified, there's a double edged sword in a way, and maybe there's more than one opportunity to consider. But nurture, compassion, you know, it's like that compassion in action, and there's karma, you know, good, it's kind of coming in, and the good karma so more like Dharma, but it's like the balance and finding that injustice at the end of the day too. But there is assistance here from probably spirit guides, something either at the end of summer, maybe even last summer. I mean, obviously, you know, if there's something that just kind of maybe even fizzled out, you know, where we're looking at that growth, but there is cycles and some completion coming through, you know, so the change, what is the change, you know, in that dynamic? But I definitely feel like the courage to make the change in some cases. Transformation, just simply because I see the butterfly, what it's kind of striking to me is that the, you know, butterfly is covering the mouth. It almost feels like there's a silenced energy, whether someone's choosing to or, you know, obviously maybe, I don't know. It's kind of like just the colors on it reminds me of somebody who's been through, you know, somewhat of a battle. You know, so if there's the warrior vibe, you know, someone who doesn't want to fight, but will stand up for what is, you know, kind of meaningful to that person, whether it's you or them. But I do think that coming to the edge is a leap of faith. And it oftentimes reminds me of a three of wands, even though it's more of embarking on someone, something new. But it does give me that impression of like getting away from the crowd, making choices that serve you, you know, so if there is anything to do with your higher power, your intuition, you know, higher source, your prayers and meditations and breathe, you know, come up for air. You know, obviously it's again, meditation may prove helpful. And especially if there's a lot of chaos and conflict, how to bring the calm, you know, how to refocus. And so this could be internal or external. 
all the glitters, you know, it may or may not be gold. You got to inspect something perhaps, but this is where numbers 36, number four, 29, master number 33 and 16, you know, might be relevant to some of you as well. So let me see what I've got coming through with, you know, this outcome here for you guys. All right. The sun, it's the best card you can get in any deck, but it says there's a time of great joy and success ahead for you. So this is like the clarity that was needed. And so brilliant epiphanies that lead to a magical opportunity, plans that were work out perfectly so gratitude to the divine also so it's like you know it's like when we pray for something we don't want to forget to like you know say our thanks for that as well you know for when it comes to fruition because there is something coming to fruition and so maybe again there's been some fears now this could be about like work for example some of you doing what you love and being recognized for that highest quality of work that you bring to the table you know but it can be relationships you know any kind of relationship where it's like Feeling appreciated goes a really long way. And so some creative endeavor, you know, being paid well for your craft, you know, working well with others and an excellent reputation. And then we have two, the two of sword. So being unable or unwilling to make a decision, especially if there's more than one choice, but it may be someone else who needs to make a decision and there could be procrastination one way or the other, you know, so I kind of feel like you got to follow your heart and, you know, try again. I see this happen a lot. It's like following your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. You know, because where is it going to lead at the end of the day? So I kind of feel like if anybody is pretending that there is no problem or overanalyzing a situation, again, it could be another person. But I sometimes feel like because there's two opposing factors, there's more than one choice. And so it's kind of like, you know, the truths are sitting on the fence. But, you know, like I said, someone could be in denial or denying something. There could be a really difficult, stressful, or even a painful choice to have to make, you know, here. But I do see an Ace of Pentacles. So there is a windfall of abundance, you know, obviously wise counsel could be coming in and good fortune in general. So like a job could be this, this could be um, maybe even some type of a settlement or inheritance or, you know, moving, you know, obviously investing in a home, but there's an exciting career opportunity for a lot of you, some type of a lucrative contract of sorts. And also a significant purchase could be, you know, home vehicle, something of that nature. So we actually have this feeling of, you know, being trapped, you know, stuck in a way. And it's kind of like the fear of one's own mind, but there could be an illusion of being, you know, stuck. And again, there could be just the need for confidence. Um, somebody might be afraid to take actions, whether or not, you know, is it going to work or not? Um, it's about taking responsibility, you know, for whatever choices that are being made here, you know, in that case. But it does say the truth, you know, obviously it's kind of like the sun, the clarity, you know, in any case, you also have devotion, dedication is what that reminds me of. So if there's a promise or there's, you know, an oath or um, good faith, you know, that goes into like, you know, what you're dedicated towards. And so nurturer, compassion, empathy comes into that. It's kind of, you know, maybe divine feminine more so it's yin energy and then co-creation could be with friends and family. It might be with the universe. So if there is anything to do with, you know, like I said, some of the numbers, number 30, 41, number 11 and 48. So you have two master numbers, 11 and 33 so far. All right, guys. And this is going to suggest here positive change. And you also have teacher, whether you are or someone is to you. It's like that mentor vibe. And you also have coming in health and healing is coming through. And I think that's important. But um, father, husband, brother, son, whether you are or someone is to you. You know, it's the protector. It's the divine masculine. It's the yang. And it's of action. You know, it's going to be kind of, you know, something really important. All right. So we have the ace of thought. The sheriff has arrived to congratulate you for some brilliant new idea, which actually might be kept a secret for a while, you know, until you're ready to maybe present it. But maybe someone else is keeping a secret that they want to present at some point. But it does feel like it's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of this idea. So don't be dissuaded by the little challenges along the way. They are merely course corrections to perfect the plan. So really nice. You also have be open to success. Like who wouldn't be, right? But it says look at all the wonderful things that you can do when you listen to the divine guidance. And so it's about balancing so many different priorities and coming out a winner. And there will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way. So don't be shy 
and allow others to shower you with the gratitude that you deserve. So it's like, you know, putting all your effort towards something, you know, it's like making, it, you know, make it happen, making it a go. All right. Seven of abundance. This is, you know, the seven of pentacles again. So have patience. And sometimes dreams do grow slowly, but don't worry. The hard work that you have invested will bring out about a bountiful harvest. This is a good time to prepare because things will soon move forward quickly. Use this time to rest and plan. Again, really beautiful energy. And the Eight of Thought. It's, you know, still the Eight of Swords. So somebody may feel as though they're restricted by the circumstances that they find themselves in. But it can be just an illusion. So make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that makes you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue. It's kind of like about, you know, the escape or the freedom or, you know, again, going somewhere or there's some opportunity that excites you. It's making the choice, you know, kind of there's some fast action, you know, type of the energy coming in. But there is a personal issue that will reach a resolution. It's the full moon of cancer. So if there's anything going on with the home, family, mother, the foundation, you know, what makes you feel safe and secure and also... The energy is gaining momentum. The waxing moon comes with that. You have the end of a tough cycle approaching. The full moon in Capricorn can have a lot to do with work, career, social status. You know, it's like all the work you put towards something, it's going to have a reward at the end of the day. So obviously, you know, it's kind of like if there's restrictions, you overcome them. If there's a boundary that you need to establish even. But I do feel like, you know, it's coming in with like you've put the effort in so you're going to get the reward. But, you know, if there is anything that was maybe worrisome, you know, I kind of feel like this sometimes can be a really good thing. Nothing will come of this situation if you've been worried about something bad happening. But I also feel like if there's a void, of course, or somebody chooses not to take action, you know, obviously there could be that void, of course, moon where nothing would happen, you know, but you have the choice to say yes or no or go in either direction. You know, it's your choice when the time is right for you and when it feels in alignment, you know, there could be something like that. So obviously there is a time to give rather than to take and a, it could be time to give to self, you know, especially if it's like anybody's been making choices that are trying to keep the peace or trying to make others happy or those type of things. You know, it's the new one in Virgo and because the Virgo energy can be very critically thinking, it comes up with solutions, but it can become, you know, very detail oriented, you know, so there might be again things to pay attention to. It has a lot to do with your health and your routine. And that came up, you know, health and wellness, you know, obviously mind, body, spirit. But I do love the Virgo energy because it does kind of feel like it's the problem solver energy, you know, that may be needed to come up with some solution, you know, to maybe again getting into this new space. Archangel Michael comes in and you are working very closely with this powerful Archangel who is protecting and guiding you through this situation. And also you have Ascended Masters. There are powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers who are watching over you and guiding you, which, you know, you did have the teacher vibe come up. Crystals, for any of you that do kind of have certain crystals that are helpful for you, the energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your present situation. You know, that might be for some, not all, but, you know, obviously, you know, I mean, I totally, you know, can, I feel like the crystals could be really important for some of you. You know, so the visualizing success is really about the creation of anything like the magician. You know, you got to have the idea first and then you act upon it. But see yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in that positive outcome. And the sacral chakra. So this is kind of like when I think about that foundation, you know, the security and the belonging. And, you know, I, I just, it gives like, it's a foundation type of an energy is what it makes me feel like. But you could be really um, highly sensitive to any chemicals, additives, processed foods, or energies right now. So respect your sensitivities by avoiding any harsh items, situations, or relationships, you know, that could be triggering or, you know, create conflict or something of that nature. So, you know, at the end of the day, you're in someone's thoughts, perhaps, you know, obviously it could be even on a more subconscious level. 1616, it's kind of interesting, you know, that I've got that. Um, and there are kind of like change and tower and transformation vibes that come with 16, but that doesn't mean that it's like, you know, I don't know, Mars is like what's worth the fight or not. But if there is changes that are necessary, you know, it could be again, one of those cases where it's like, you know, the Mars and Cancer vibe, you know, it's just to me, I feel like there's going to be, you know, where the compassion is necessary in some cases here. 
but the main male obviously comes up whomever that might be you know it could be just a father brother spouse or you know boyfriend i mean i don't know who it is to you because it's going to be different for you than the next person it could be you you know the child children inner child you know obviously taking a playful approach there's a sense of innocence that reminds me of children in general but it actually is associated to an 18 um you know moon energy is secretive there could even be someone who's pregnant you know but i mean if you think about you know the main female also it's kind of like there's this little family coming in here you know to this you know man woman child you know so and then the mature woman so you know it's even could be a grandmother a mother um you know whomever the person is someone older but yeah i mean there's a lot of people for better or worse you know that are kind of influencing the situation you know, hopefully for the better. But so again, 16, 1, 18, 2, and number 6 coming through. And also the High Priestess of Fire. So this is going to be, again, follow your intuition to guide you, you know, for the actions that you choose to take. The Grove, if there is any healing that's necessary, actually, this is kind of like this comfort zone in a way because it has a number 21. And so it's like the ending of a cycle and they're stepping out of a comfort zone and there's this new beginning energy. So, you know, obviously the summon could be summoning up the courage or there's somebody, you know, kind of like, again, summoning, you know, it might be again, where you're looking at getting a summons or you're, you know, taking something to court even. I mean, it could be so many things, you know, like when you think of manifesting even, but, um, you know, I feel like a little bit more of summoning up courage because of like some restrictive energy you know, or fear, but obviously the fear could come from someone else's perspective, you know, maybe the other person, but confidence is key in a lot of areas. So number five, 21, 13. So endings and beginnings, transformation there as well. And anything that could be t a little taboo even, but a number 42, you know, so those numbers might mean something to some of you, but you guys, good luck with this. Please do take care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch up soon. Bye-bye.